All right, guys, let's have a look at the irrigation system uh, canal that they have on the prairies here. Um, not all places, but around Medicine Hat here. They have the irrigation system, and then the farmers uh, use the water to water their fields with their uh, pivot systems they have. Most of the farmers around here have these kind of systems here. It's just a long pipe. You can compare this to your uh, country and see how, how they water their uh, uh, crops and compare it to Canada here. Well, not all of Canada, but Alberta here. Um, just a long pipe and every so often there's a set of wheels that go on the ground, uh, I mean that turn, uh, at different rates. Uh, the closer you are to the pivot point, uh, the slower the, the turn rate, of course, and then the farther out you get from the pivot point, the uh, faster it has to turn. And the same with the water, as you can see here, I'm near the pivot point of this long pipe and it's straight. So the computerized part of it keeps it straight so that the end moves, if you could quit moving around, uh, it's heavier water at the end because that moves faster. And then as you get closer to the pivot point, it doesn't have to water as much because it doesn't, I mean, you're close to the pivot point, it hardly moves. So uh, that's why there's more water at the end. And then at the very end, they have a uh, thing that, I don't even know what you call that. You have it, every water, uh, garden uh, has one, sprinkler type system on the end. And this is what the canal looks like. Uh, it's all, it, uh, uh, the sides and the bottom is all rock. It's not just uh, dirt. Um, so it's all rock. There's, I'm parked down at that intersection down there. And this thing runs for miles. And I guess the farmers all use uh, the water. I don't know if they got to pay for that or what, but uh, most of the farmers on here, that's how they water their uh, fields is with this pivot irrigation system. Just having a look at that intersection where I'm parked at the moment. Right there I are. And let's uh, back up and have a look at that field that we were just flying over there, that one farmer that was watering. That's just one along the whole... Uh, the whole system here. And that's his field there. The one closest underneath of us is uh, last year's probably and back home my idea today was to uh, fly low in the canal really low and fly along and fly through a pipe on the water there that was my whole idea of uh, taking the drone out today and uh, actually filming the uh, canals so I'll land it here and then we'll put in a fresh battery uh, because we're gonna be a lot closer to the water and uh, we need to make sure we have uh, a lot of battery juice all right here we are on the canal and I'm going to go across the other side of that intersection here and fly the pipe coming back this way. Beautiful uh, place to fly through there. So it's a little windy though. So let's have a look when we get down near uh, the 
surface of the water. Maybe it's a little calmer down there. I don't know. It seems to be pretty windy over here. It's just blowing me from side to side. And I have the Mavic Pro. I mean, not that the minis would have any easier of a time or harder of a time, but you can see the reeds, uh, the uh, how they're blowing there. The cattails uh, reeds there, and I'm drifting over that way. And I'm And if you push your stick too far one way, well, then the wind takes takes you too far. And I don't know why I didn't turn around to face the other way higher up instead of worrying about bumping into the sides or to the reeds right here. Like, I should have turned around and got straightened out higher up, and then I could come down. But nope, I, I had to do it right on the surface. The suspense builds. There's the pipe. trying to get centered and I'm over too close to the reeds here like I said and now I'll pull the other way and then the wind pushes you so it's a little kind of scary down there but anyway, I'll get centered out here in a moment we'll take our time take it easy just to get there I'm sure through the pipe there would be no wind so be okay just push straight forward and go and the wind fighting the wind there it's you can see the cattail reeds there they're blowing in the wind okay here we go there's there's no more reeds to worry about let's get straightened out the suspense is building Let's get straightened out. We gotta go straight through this thing. It can't be crooked. Come on. There, there, there. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. We can see the other end. All right. Just keep her straight. You gotta keep her straight. Okay. Here we go. Push. Hard forward. Go. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Thanks for watching. Stay cool, stay awesome, be kind. Stay Nomadic Outlaws.